Hey guys, welcome back to Buckner Gaming Channel. Today we're going to cover in the Weapon Conversion series the F88C, Ostier F88C. So what this is, is a carbine version of the Steyr AUG, which has swappable barrels. So what we're going to be doing here is creating the Australian Army version called the F88C, which is the carbine variant of this with the 407mm barrel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So here you can see our finished designs. What we're going to go ahead and do is strip this down. And the necessary parts that you need for this are the barrel is key. So that you have two 407 millimeter barrels for the Steyr AUG or the AUG here, which comes as the base 9 millimeter SMG. So what we want to do is figure out which 407 millimeter barrel you want. And then you can have the 622 millimeter barrel, which we did for the H bar, which we covered in a different video, as well as the STG 77. So. What we want to do here is you have two options for 407 millimeter and the best statistics that you're going to get seem to be with the extended barrel versus the lightweight 407. You seem like you're getting a buff on almost everything minus, actually it looks like there's pluses on everything. So we're going to go ahead and do the 407 millimeter extended barrel. And then that's the standard barrel length for the carbine versions of the Steyr AUG or the F-88C Austria, which is the Australian Army variant of this weapon. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to skip out on the laser as well as the muzzle. Those are more personal preference. Optic, now this is also a personal preference. For the STG-77, we did the integral three times optic, which is the standard sights that come with the Steyr AUG as well as the F-88C. So you can go ahead and choose that if you want. But since we did that for the STG-77, we're going to switch it up and we're going to go with a standard holographic sight. This being a carbine variant is designed mainly as a personal defense weapon for close quarters combat and especially more so in places where it's hard to hit fit full length assault rifles and you need carbons like in vehicles, helicopters, tanks, etc. So we're going to do the holographic sight. The stock, what we're going to do for this is the, the CQB comb. So this is going to help us in close quarters combat. It's also going to improve our ADS speed. So this is something we want to keep up with a carbine version of this weapon. So we're going to select that one for the ADS buffer we're going to get there perks we can go ahead and skip out on that rear grip again we want to maximize our ads speed with this weapon so we'll go ahead and go ahead and do the stippled grip tape so this is going to again increase our ads speed as well as our sprint of fire speed and then the last key one here is the ammunition so what we want to do is just the standard 556 30 round mag um, you have the 556 60 round which we did for the h bar and then obviously you have your 32 round mag for the SMG 9 mil variant. So we're gonna go ahead and do the 5.56 NATO 30 round mag. This is obviously gonna increase our damage as well as range because we're firing AR rounds. Go ahead and do that. And now we have our carbine, so, or carbine, depending on if you're British or American out there, however you wanna say it. So the two keys with this weapon are the 407 millimeter extended barrel. Again, you can choose whichever 407 millimeter one you want. You're just getting better stats on the extended barrel versus the lightweight. So we want that 407 mil millimeter barrel, and then we also want the 30 round 5.56 magazine. So, again, the rest of that is all personal choice. You can do whatever you want with the weapon, but the 407 millimeter barrel and the 30 round mags of 5.56 is how we're gonna make this carbine variant of the Steyr AUG or the Australian Army variant of the F-88C. So here is the final product. This is our Carbine or Carbine PDW F88C. Final version here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and jump in game and test out the recoil patterns and see how it handles against bots. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so now we're in game. Let's go ahead and see how this handles. So this is our F88C. Carbon version of the Steyr AUG. So let's go ahead and let it rip here. We won't control the recoil. So there you can see just a straight muzzle climb, right? So if we control it. So they're controlling it. It is pretty accurate. As you can see there too. So if I go against this wall here. So you get a little bit of a bounce, but it's not horrible. Um, definitely manageable. So obviously now let's see how this thing handles against the bots. I think I think at a medium range, so this is obviously designed for more so for CQC. So it definitely will work, right? So let's see how it handles in game now. 
So again, this is the SCG-77 or the Steyr Aug carbine variant. So the good thing about this weapon is it was designed to have swappable barrels. So you can put on different barrels to make it the assault rifle, the light support weapon or the H-bar, and then also the SMG, which is the base AUG in this game, and then also the 407mm barrel, which we have here, to make it a carbine. So the carbine was developed mainly to be used in tight places, such as armored vehicles, where maneuverability can be an issue, so more so vehicles like helicopters, tanks, things like that. Not sure these guys rush me when I'm trying to shoot, but then they're nowhere to be found. So, you can see it does handle pretty well at the right range here, where we would typically use it. Cluster strike ready. So it definitely handles pretty good. There we go. And this is, again, a bit longer of a barrel than the SMG that you start with in the game, and then obviously it's a shorter barrel versus the 622 that we used for the SCG-77 in the H bar. So different barrel size here making it making it into the carbon variant. So this was the Star Aug was adopted by the Australian Army and they adopted this, made some changes and called it the F eighty eight Austria. So this is really you can look at it either way. It's technically an AUG or Star AUG, but also the F eighty eight C is the carbon variant. What the Australians did with that is they made it so you couldn't swap the barrel versus the standard Steyr AUG had swappable barrels and you could turn it into whichever weapon, so whichever platform you wanted. So that's a cool feature there. Um, also when we get into barrel length that I said, 407mm for this versus the... There's also a subcarbon which is the 350mm and that's the one that I think we basically we start with with that 9mm SMG variant of the weapon. The length of the overall weapon is 690 to 630 millimeters. So this one is 690 being the carbine versus the SMG, I believe would be 630. Oh boy. Hip fire is not too bad. Again, if you wanted to really use this for hip fire, you could throw on attack laser for this one. The rate of fire on this is still 800 or 680 to 750 rounds per minute. There we go. Flocky <laughs> fuck. So it definitely is a more maneuverable uh, version versus the SCG 77 build we did. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as this standard SMG variant that you use with as far as maneuverability and things like that, but Enemy at the construction site. you could even keep that standard barrel on and turn it into the subcarbon and put on these 5.56mm five, five, rounds and you'd still have a very good weapon. Obviously it just wouldn't perform quite as much as the range as you would with this. This I think you can engage at decent medium ranges also. So I see right there, pretty good. Definitely handles well, chops people down well, so it is your standard AUG just with buffed up damage because you have those 5.56 five, rounds, so you just got to be sure you're compensating for that extra recoil that you're going to be getting with the assault rifle rounds on this. But this is the final variant, I believe, for the AUG weapons that we have. I believe we might be able to make the sniper variant out of it, but I have to double check. So let me know what you guys think. Have you used this one? In the description below, let me know. Have you used this with the 407 millimeter barrel? Have you kept the standard subcarbon barrel, barrel that comes with the SMG version? Also, be sure to let me know what builds you want to see in future videos. All you guys are signing off, which is great. So I'm being sure to basically screen cap and capture the ones that you guys are giving me for suggestions. So we've done a couple of those the, this week, especially. I think we covered a lot. Um, so be sure to leave suggestions of weapons that you think we can build in this game down below. We did the Honey Badger, which is a really popular one so far. And I did get some, some blueprints recently that look even more like a Honey Badger. The only problem is we don't have the 300 Blackout rounds with the Kilo or anything else, unfortunately. So we are kind of stuck with using the M13, which is the SIG weapon in real life. So we're kind of stuck using that right now for a Honey Badger. Because it's the only one we have the 300 blackout rounds for. But 
I think it works really well, and I like that build a lot. And I know a lot of you guys have been using that one too. So be sure if you're liking the content to like and subscribe to the channel. Definitely helps out smaller channels like myself, and I know especially with YouTube's new child protection for the COPA laws coming up here that have taken place. I know some of you may not be getting the notifications, so be sure to hit that bell icon too if you are like subscribing to the channel and you like the content. And finally, be sure to check out my... Wow, that guy just doesn't die, huh? Oh boy, better reload quick. So be sure to check out my Twitch page in the description below. You can follow me on there. We'll be doing some live streams this weekend and one or two days during the week. I also have my Instagram down there in the description below. So be sure to follow that. I do some posts on there typically as well as my Twitter's down there also. So if you want to make suggestions or interact with me there too, those links are available in the description. Wow, I didn't know you could hold it like that. That's cool. So this is the F88C carbine variant of the Steyr Aug. And you can see, it's pretty hard right there with that that hip fire recoil right there. Uh, minimum spread at that range. And the good thing about being the rifle ammunition is you can do that at a, at a decent medium to longer range too, depending on the scope. So you could even put that integral three times um, scope on this, which is a standard for the Steyr Aug F88 variants of this weapon. And again, that's a choice that we did on the STG 77 AR build of this. But you can definitely do that on this if you prefer it. But it handles really well. I definitely like this one. I think this this weapon here handles much better than than some of the other builds we did, especially with the L22 build that we did, which was the carbine variant of the SA87. So this handles much better. You can able to control it. The recoil is not as bad. Definitely works a lot better. <sighs> So this is the F88C of the Styrog Carbine, and this is Buffner Gaming. Until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.